Yo, what is good? Welcome back in the kitchen. My name is Kayla. In case you don't already know, I'm not a chef, but I do like to cook. And today, guys, is a day that some of you have been waiting for. Today, I'm going to be making a vegan recipe, 100% vegan. So that way, any viewers that are vegan or vegetarian can enjoy my channel and my recipes. Not just because of that, but also because I actually do eat some vegan meals. And so I'm going to be sharing with you guys my curry chickpea recipe. And I really have to think long and hard about what I usually eat that would be considered vegan. And I didn't even realize that um, curry chickpeas, it can be vegan, 100% vegan. So I'm so excited to share this with you guys. Um, again, guys, I'm so sorry about the long wait on my channel, but um, I'm here, I'm ready to cook vegan. <laughs> So for the curry chickpeas in the next clip, I'm going to show you guys all the ingredients that you need. For people that are watching this that are not vegan or vegetarian and, um, you know, aren't really interested, honestly, this recipe is so flavorful that it doesn't even matter whether you have meat or not. Vegan means that you do not eat any um, meat products, so nothing that comes from an animal and including like eggs and dairy products and stuff like that. It might not be like the actual meat itself but anything that does come from an animal is not vegan. Um, so, what I'm using today are just ingredients that are strictly plant-based and do not come from an animal at all, um, but that does not take away from the flavor and the deliciousness of food. It can definitely be done vegan or not. So, if you are not a vegetarian or vegan, please keep watching this video because I'm about to like, you know, change your world I'm about to do something that you guys aren't even gonna think was possible like making actually a really good meal that has no meat in it <laughs> so and I do want to apologize too to the vegan people I'm not a vegan so that is why like I don't really do a lot of vegan recipes but I'm definitely open to it and I'm very excited to make this because this is actually a meal that I eat on a regular basis and I didn't even like put two and two together so <laughs> um, we're gonna get started on this okay so what you will need for your curry chickpeas is of course chickpeas. These are out of the can. I just washed them and put them in a bowl. You're gonna need some tomato and onion. Uh, the type of onion I don't think really matters, um, but that's just the one that I had at home, so I'm using it. We've also got a couple of essential um, seasonings for curry dishes in the Caribbean. So we got some bay leaves and some thyme. And also something you should have um, is scotch bonnet, but if you don't want to use the one in the, or you don't want to use a fresh one, you, if you have like the scotch bonnet pepper sauce, you can use that instead. Um, so yeah, I'm going to use that. The most important ingredient is obviously, besides the chickpeas, is coconut milk. Coconut milk is a, from a fruit, it's from coconut or vegetable, I don't know if coconuts or fruit or vegetable but it is not from an animal it's not milk it's not from a cow so um grab yourself coconut milk we're gonna be using that instead of water because it gives such a good flavor and it's vegan um i've got my curry powder here and then i've got some other seasonings that i'm gonna use so go ahead grab the seasonings that you like once again grab all of these ingredients and herbs and get ready to make yourself some vegan curry um chickpeas guys so the first thing that I'm gonna do is turn my pan on so I'm gonna put it at about level six like just above medium heat so I'm gonna let it heat up and put some um, olive oil inside so I'm gonna say I put about four tablespoons of olive oil so once this heats up what we're gonna do guys is we're going to put our onion and tomato into the pan and we're going to fry it up a little bit uh, we're also gonna throw in some seasonings and curry powder so we're gonna let all of that um, fry up and then we're gonna add our chickpeas and then throw in our coconut milk okay guys so my oil has heated up so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and throw in my tomato and my onion and I'm gonna also throw in my curry powder So like I said, I'm going to be adding some seasonings right now as well. And you're going to let it uh, fry up and you're going to stir it as well. So right now I'm basically just trying to get the curry powder um, a little bit burnt. 
And once you see it start to brown, you're gonna throw in your chickpeas. So this is how it's looking right now, guys. So good. Yeah, I'm gonna add my chickpeas in. Okay guys, so it is time to add my coconut milk. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw that right into the pan. You know, it might not look that appetizing, but I'm gonna guarantee you guys that this is just gonna taste so good. So what we're gonna do is just let it um, boil. I'm gonna stir it, I'm gonna add some more curry, some more seasoning in here. And I'm also going to be adding my bay leaf and my thyme. All right, guys, so this is how it is looking right now. This is not how it's gonna look at the end, okay? Just bear with me. But um, to vegans, I'm sure you guys understand your food doesn't always look the best, but you know how it tastes, okay? So, um, but yeah, so I've got all my herbs, spices, ingredients into the pot, and what I'm gonna do is grab a lid, and I'm gonna cover it so it can boil and thicken up. Mm. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the lid to it. I'm gonna let it boil. We're gonna keep an eye on it. You're gonna keep stirring it and do all that regular stuff, and then um, I'll show you guys what you guys can make um, with it on the side okay guys so I'm just letting my curry sauce uh, continue to cook you're gonna probably leave it on the stove for about 10 more minutes it's honestly does not take long to um, make at all but it depends on how much you want the chickpeas to be um, to be soft and also there's some other things that you can eat along with it so I'm gonna be making some rice along the side you can also use it as a dip so if you want to grab yourself some vegan bread and you can dip it in there um, and then also for some people who eat this you might think it's a little bit light I personally find this to be very filling but if you want something else that you feel can just make it feel like a full meal and kind of fill your belly a little bit more you can even throw in some potatoes in here you can throw in some other vegetables and just really thicken up the dish and make it a lot more filling all right guys so I'm gonna uh, go ahead and check how this is doing again yes looking good so i'm gonna give it another stir it looks beautiful yeah um so what i'm gonna do is turn off the stove and i'm gonna let it sit for a bit while i wait on the rice to be ready okay guys guess what the food is ready <laughs> Um, so it looks really good to me um, I understand you know for people that aren't vegan sometimes the food doesn't look that appetizing but I know say vegans can say that their food might not look good but it definitely does taste good so this recipe right here guys 100% vegan there's no animal products in it so don't worry vegans I got you okay so yeah it is time to try my curry chickpeas out The amount of flavor coconut milk gives to food and the curry, all the seasonings, tomato, onion. Oh my god. Mm. That's good. I'm telling you, for all the people that are not, are not vegan, give this a try, honestly, or come to my house and try. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna devour this right after this video. Thank you once again for watching, guys. Thank you so much. Um, please subscribe to the channel if you guys like what you see. And also, I just posted a Thanksgiving video because I wanted to do a recipe that had to do with Thanksgiving. So I made me some pumpkin pie. So definitely check that video out if you didn't already. And hit that like button on both the videos. Go ahead, back watch all my videos. Hit that like button, you know what I'm saying? Comment down below. Also let me know guys if you guys have any ideas. Um, so I've had a few people that are vegan actually message me, ask me to make this recipe. or not this recipe but a vegan recipe so that is why i made this uh, meal for today if you guys have anything else on your mind that you really want to know how to make let me know you can send me an inbox on my instagram underscore miss kelman you can comment on these videos you can um follow me on anything 
and I will definitely take it into consideration. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate the love and support. Please go ahead, subscribe to my channel, and I'm going to see you guys very, very soon. Peace out.